Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen at Soul Magic 99 and today I'm here with a pick a pile reading and your Divine Masculine has something to say to you today okay so pick a pile so pile one we have this mixture of crystals like a Reiki bracelet number two is turquoise and number three I'm not sure what this crystal is but pick your pile and we'll get started with your reading. Hello pile one, so you chose a colourful bracelet. So let's get your messages from your masculine. So we have fish, financial and spiritual abundance. So maybe he's working on his spirituality at this time and he's been working on his finances to become more abundant in his life. Bridges, divine connection, shorten the physical distance to bring you together. So I do feel he wants to bridge the distance between you. Obviously, possibly a lot of you are in separation at this time and he does want to build a bridge, you know, and come back together in a physical way. Magnifying glass, take a closer look. So I think he's been going within, he's been looking you know, at the way he is in the world, you know, the way he responds to things, looking at what he, it is he actually wants in his life, you know, really putting himself under the magnifying glass and also with this connection he has with you as well, really looking at it quite deeply. And we've got fast news or fast news or traveling to you so it's possible you will hear from this person you may get a communication from this person quite quickly or they even may turn up unexpectedly maybe um you know to be with you because they're missing that physicality with you the realistic dreams i've been having about us elevated me to a higher level of spirituality so they've been dreaming about you, you've been in their minds, you know, they can't get you off their minds basically. And you've triggered their spiritual growth. It, I would be beyond grateful and happy if you consider talking to me again. So they really do want to talk to you and this could explain, you know, the sudden communication. I've gotten drunk a few times because of you. So, you know, they've been feeling that, that loss, that missing you in this situation. So maybe they've had a drink or two, okay, to numb their feelings. Wisdom in a knowing. So I think they're gaining wisdom in this connection. You know, as I said, they've been going within. They've been looking at the cells under a microscope. Yeah, they've been doing inner child work. Maybe they had some woundings from childhood and they needed to deal with these. So they've been, you know, looking at all these issues within. Maybe they blocked you, or maybe you blocked them because there was a lack of contact. So one or other of you blocked the other from communicating. And that's how some people deal with these lack of communications. But they're missing that lovely closeness of you, they really are. So what do they want to say? I'm sorry for the way I've treated you, can you forgive me? So they've realised that maybe they didn't act in the best way. My love for you is as deep as the ocean, as wide as the sky, as high as a mountain. It's never ending until the end of time. So they've discovered this deep love for you. What is it that you see in me? You could have anyone. I know how other people desire you. When we met, you had lots of other connections. I was jealous. I never told you this. So maybe when you first met this person, you were just meeting casually. And you also were seeing other people because you weren't in a proper committed relationship. You have a light around you. I cannot see it, but I sense it very strongly. It's up there called an aura. <clears throat> so there's a different feeling he gets when he's with you. You know, he really does feel this aura about you, this kindness, maybe this gentleness, this compassionateness. And maybe you're not the sort of person that, you know, is like other people. You may not gossip or be bitchy about other people, just got that kindness about you as soon as i looked into your eyes i was lost lost in your soul lost in your heart the intensity of these feelings scared me and i could not handle it so maybe they did do a runner on you because the feelings that came up really triggered them and they didn't know how to handle it at the time 
I feel like I gave up on love a long time ago and then I met you and everything changed in my heart. So, you know, maybe they'd had a broken relationship and they didn't feel ready to have any more relationships, didn't want any more relationships, weren't planning to have any relationships. And then they met you and, you know, they had these feelings of love for you. You are a goddess to me, not just in your physical form, but your inner as well. Your kindness, compassion and empathy, the way you care about others is such an example in this world. So it has a very high opinion of you. Now it's had time to reflect on this, okay? So now I'm using my new deck, Untold Passions of Divine Masculine. When I look at pictures of you on my phone, I catch the scent of you and hear you moan. So they're really triggered when they look at you. They can sense and feel things that they've experienced with you. I have so many things I want to do to you in and out of the bedroom. I want to love you too. So yes, they've realised their deep feelings for you. If I could only have one more night with you, it would not be enough. I want you from now to forever. Meeting you brought up some old hurts. I built up a wall to protect my heart. I do not want to protect it anymore. So he's feeling more open to love now. Let's jump right in, this you and me. Let's talk, let's work it out. So I feel that's what the energy was earlier. They, you know, they've come to this decision, this conclusion that they need to talk to you. They want to jump right in. They've got these overwhelming feelings of love for you and they just want to see where it goes. And as I say, you may have fast communication or contact from them. So what else? True intimacy, knowing you, knowing me. Sharing all the secrets, the highs and the lows. So they want to be open and honest with you. The closeness of you does something to me. I just want to be with you, held in each other's arms all night long. So yeah, they're really missing that. Let me deep, deep into your soul. I feel you, baby. You make me want to get out of control with you. So your passionate connection, you know, they just want to get out of control. Look deep into my eyes and you'll see my soul, which is full of love for you. So beautiful. So let's get some Flames of Truth messages now. So let's see if I can get in the box. God, I couldn't get them out of the box. Let's get some messages. What does this masculine want to say? Everyone stops to stare at you when we are together. I feel so insecure because I know they're wondering what you see in me. So he's still working on his own self-esteem, I feel. Your sexual energy consumes me. Oh my God, you have me on fire astrally. So there's so much sexual passion between you both. With one smile, I was so weak at the knees. You took my breath away with just one look. So yeah, amazing chemistry. How can someone like you love someone like me? I don't feel deserving of your love. So, you know, still having issues with self-esteem, really. I so desperately want to talk with you, but I just don't know what to say after ghosting you for so long. So, you know, if they ghosted you, that might be why maybe you blocked them because you just got sick of that. And they come to this awareness now. So obviously it's up to you whether you allow them to come and talk to you. I've always wanted to marry you. I'm working on making that happen. So they definitely have these deep feelings of connection with you. I've never felt the way I feel about you of anyone else. I was yours immediately. So that's just amazing. So now we're going to get some messages from the waiting game to see what sort of timings we're talking about, what's going to happen next in this connection. What's going to happen next? Well, we've got within a week here. So you may be hearing from them within a week. They might want to take you on a weekend getaway. You might have a date at the park. 
so there your messages pile one i hope that helped thank you for watching i will see you next time hello pile two so you chose the turquoise then so what does your muscle want to say to you we have eternal the heart and soul ties that bind twin flame you mirror each other for growth and healing the compass, guidance, goals and direction. Labyrinth, twist and turns, no shortcuts to destination. So he does feel this connection with you, you know, this eternal connection because he's become aware of twin flames and he realises that you are mirroring each other's um, good and bad points, basically, in order for you to do the work on yourselves. And you've given him some sort of compass a guidance a goal some directions to go forward in as an example you're leading by example and he realized there's no shortcuts and there may be lots of twists and turns in this connection to come okay <clears throat> so what else does he want to say i can't get you out of my head i want to walk by your side and hold your hand I'm too afraid of rejection to reach out to you right now. So even though he does want to reach out, he's afraid that you won't be open to that, okay? So what else? Yeah, I mean, he's aware of this twin flame connection, you know, that you're attached energetically. You know, he's aware of that very much. That's twice we've had that confirmation. Maybe he's in denial of self. He's not that self-aware. He's been lying to himself over the connection prior to this, but... He's now had that awareness, I feel, now. Yeah, I mean, we've got blindfold on, no awareness. I do think he's taken the blindfold off now, okay? He's, he's into that awareness now of what this connection is. And he wants to reach out to you. He definitely does want to reach out, okay? So what else does he want to say? I did not understand our connection. I tried to deny it over and over again. So as I say, he didn't understand at the beginning. I felt like I was bewitched by you, that you'd put a spell on me, as I could not forget you or get you out of my mind. So yeah, constantly on his mind. Please can you forgive me for any hurt I've caused you? You know, he's becoming more self-aware of, of his actions could have hurt you. I'm finding it difficult to forgive myself for the way I treated you. So yeah, he's, you know, he's really harsh on himself for the way he treated you. He, you know... He's having a hard time forgiving himself. Do you think we can meet up so soon to talk things through and clear the air? So he definitely is a need or a desire to, to meet up with you soon, okay? You're so sexy, a goddess, a temptress. The way you look, the way you speak, the look in your eyes, you are my desire. I want you so bad. So he's really missing you in a physical presence way. <clears throat> and not just that, you know, it's not just a physical connection. He is feeling that emotional connection with you. So this is my new deck, Untold Passions of Divine Masculine. <clears throat> I feel guilty. Did I drag you down to my level? And that's why I released you as you deserve more than that. More than dark. I want you to be happy more than anything, my love. I'm working on myself to meet you with my love. So yeah, he's working on his own self-love at this time. When I think of you, my heart glows from within as your love has truly got under my skin. So, yeah, he's having really happy thoughts about you, but, you know, he's beating himself up about the way he treated you. Remembering the feel of your body next to mine, the way you pleased me, it was so divine. So, you know, you may have been physically intimate with him and he's really missing that connection with you now. I love pleasing you with my tongue, with my hardness. You get so wet, it's slippery heaven with you. So he remembers, if you were physically intimate, how aroused... He made you, how much you desired him, and he desired you, okay? But he thought it was just like lust, just a sexual thing. He's, he's realised that it's more than that now. You rock my world. This is crazy how deep I love you. Do you know what you do to me? So, you know, he's feeling this deep connection. I love you. I'll give you my heart. I trust you with my heart to keep it safe, to cherish it forevermore. So he's trusting that you would 
you know, look after his heart. You know, he may have come through some heartbreak with someone and didn't feel that he was deserving of love, maybe, or that he wanted to take the chance on love again. Body, mind and soul, I share with you, no matter what you do, my heart belongs to you. So that's beautiful. Bodies entwined in ecstasy is what I desire. To me, you are my only one. Do you feel it too? So again, you know, it's remembering those physical, sexual, intimate moments. Memories of a passionate embrace lingers in my mind. Tender kisses, your sweet, sweet taste, it is so damn fine. So, yeah, he's remembering the taste of you, you know. Not, you know, the kisses you had, the intimate moments you had. You know, he's really missing that. So let's get some additional messages. What do you want to say? What do you want to say to you? I'm feeling inadequate right now. I need to improve myself to be someone you can respect and rely on. So he's working on building up his self-esteem. He doesn't feel that he's man enough for you. He doesn't feel that he's deserving of you at this time. I just want to be able to spend time with you and get to know you intimately. So he really does want to come forward, but he's not ready just now. I was so instantly consumed by the passionate soul pull. I mistook our connection for pure lust. But after all this time, the desire has just intensified and lust dies out fast. So yeah, he did think it was just a lustful connection. And obviously over time, he's realised that it's it's deeper than that for both of you. I hope you can forgive me. My silence has caused us both so much pain. So, yeah, he knows that, you know, he's messed up a bit here. I'm so sorry it seemed I rejected you. It was all down to my fear of not being enough for you. So, yeah, definite self-esteem issues here. You know, not feeling that he's worthy or good enough for you. I want to love you in a way that no one else ever has. You are my galaxy of stars and I only wish for you. So that's beautiful, isn't it? So let's get some timing. So what's going to happen next in this connection? What's going to happen next in this connection? We've got December here, so possibly you're going to meet up in September, uh, December, I don't know I said September. Maybe for a lunch together. You may get a sexy surprise, or you may give him a sexy surprise, maybe. and he's got I will visit so you know these are all future moments in the future at some point you're going to have a visit or you're going to this could be December and one or both of you give each other a sexy surprise okay so there are your messages part two hope that helped thanks for watching many blessings Hello, Part 3. You chose this pendant. So what does your masculine want to say to you right now? We have choice. Ascend into a higher place. Infinite possibilities can indicate choices in love. Okay. Masculine. So confirmation here is your divine masculine. Love language, social media, text or calls. Feminine, so we've got the masculine and the feminine. So you're definitely counterparts here. And we've got lilies, passion, sexuality and pure divine love. So that's beautiful. So although it's saying about a choice, I think for me the choice is, is with regard to whether to 
pursue this connection or not, as opposed to other people in the connection. Okay, I think that's what I'm going from this. Um, and, you know, your masculine could have been fearful of getting involved. But he's feeling this connection, okay? And he wants to get in touch because we've got social media text or calls so that you're definitely going to get a text or a call from him because he's feeling this this passion this sexuality this pure divine love between you okay and he, he doesn't want to you know let that pass basically so what else does he want to say i'm jealous of every man who can be near you so he just wants to be near you and he you know he doesn't want anyone else to have you basically how do you tell the woman you love you truly madly deeply love her as i said you know, he's feeling those deep feelings of love at this time, okay? I enjoyed spending time with you, so he really enjoyed those moments that you shared so far, okay? And he wants you to know that time is a great healer. You know, maybe you've been in separation for quite some time. You know, it's different for everybody, obviously. It could be weeks, could be months, could be years for some people. And you both need time to heal, and he's, you know, he's aware of this, that he needs this time to heal and as I said you've got a text message so you could get a text message from him very soon just to ask how you are sort of just checking up on you at this time yeah because you're, you're both checking up on each other on the social media you know if you're if you're on there you're both looking up each other's pages or whatever you're posting and things like that and he wonders, have you met someone else, okay? So this could go back to the choices. This could be that he's thinking, have you got a choice? You know, have you met someone else? Someone who's more able in a position right now to move forward in a connection with you. And that's on his mind. So what does he want to say? I want us to be able to start again, to get to know each other inside and out. Go on fun dates, share laughter, nights of romance and passion. Let us express ourselves in complete honesty. So yeah, he wants that fresh start with you. Please know I'm so ashamed of the way I've treated you. That's why I feel it's difficult for me to face you right now. But I want to come forward and apologise. So he's realised, you know, they didn't speak to you the best way or treat you the best way. I want to kiss you again and again. The feel and taste of your lips is intoxicating to me. Together with your scent and the feel of your hair. I'm so aroused once more. So everything about you turns him on. Your voice does something to me. I feel it has hypnotised me and I cannot get enough of your voice. It soothes my soul and arouses me at the same time. So he loves the sound of your voice. If you've got, you know, a channel on YouTube or where you post things with your voice, like messages, he's probably listened to that. When I'm working, I suddenly hear your voice in my head, or the moans of pleasure you made when we made love. I find myself getting hard. So he only has to think of you and he's aroused. Each night before I go to sleep, I hold you in my arms and kiss you. And some mornings I'll wake to sexual feelings. Is that you thinking of me while you masturbate? So I join in, but I want the real thing with you. So he's feeling very aroused in the mornings. And I masturbate at least once a day with thoughts of you in my mind or looking at your pictures or a video where I can hear your voice, the voice again. You're like catnip to me. So something about your voice really does turn him on. So this is my new deck, Untold Passions of Divine Masculine. <clears throat> I get random flashbacks of you and me. The passion we shared, the sex, it was amazing. You are amazing. No one else compares. So he may have been with other women since you, okay, but to try and recapture that but he, he didn't you know nobody else was the same my actions do not seem to show this i know and i have no explanation so you know the fact that he loves you and he cares about you his actions probably don't say that <clears throat> when we met i didn't realize i would fall so hard so fast and i ran i could not breathe so you took his breath away he didn't expect our feelings for you so quickly I did not feel in control. I felt like I was not able to see straight. That's why I ran. <clears throat> yeah, he didn't like the fact that he just felt out of control in his emotions. He didn't know, you know, how to handle it, basically. I get angry with myself. I know I've hurt you as well as myself. I just don't know what to do. 
So yeah, he's beating himself up at the moment about how things went down. Inside, I feel like a hurt child going into a shell. My mother, was she was the first woman to hurt me, can't you tell? So he's got inner child wound in there that possibly he needs to heal from and work on at this time, okay? Kissing you feels so good, your lips are so soft, they taste so sweet. So he loves, he loved kissing you, he loved the feel of your lips. And it was so sweet kissing you. He feels this deep, deep connection, he's lost inside of you, you know, he just can't get you out of his head or in his heart. I cannot tell you in words how much I love you, 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 I love you, let me show you in the bedroom. <laughs> so... You know, for him, the best way to show you how much he cares is in a physical way. He may struggle with words. He may struggle to express himself in a verbal way. And he wants to show you by his lovemaking and, you know, show you the passion and desire he has for you. I'm getting deeper with these feelings I'm in. Kiss me, touch me, deeper than I've ever been. So he has so much hot desire for you. Wanting, wanting you to be mine all the time. So he just wants you to be his. There is only now. Forget the past. Tomorrow is another day. It's love like this at last. I will love you come what may. So, you know, he's he's letting you know no matter what you decide, you know, whether you decide to give him a chance or, you know, you've moved on in your life, he will love you no matter what. And that's the thing with the twin flame connections, you know, that is, you know, it's that unconditional love and you, you just want the other person to be happy in their lives in whatever way, even if that is without you. You know, you do want them to be happy. So let's get some other messages. What do you want to say? I was foolish to ignore you. Just when I was ready to reply, you got angry and then I didn't know how to respond. So maybe there was a bit of this going on, you know, this, you know, like ghosting, and you know, you decided that you didn't want to put up with it and you got angry, maybe lashed out and he just didn't know how to reply, basically, so possibly didn't say anything. I love you so much. Please try to be patient with me and be open to me coming towards you when we have both healed. So he's aware that he's in need of healing. I'm trying to balance my emotions so I can consistently communicate and build trust with you. So yeah, you could have had sporadic com communications or lack of communications because he struggles with that. I know that my silence has been deadly. I killed our special connection through being paralysed in fear. So yeah, there could have been periods of a lot of silence and that's why you got angry and then he just didn't know how to respond at that time. My insecurities have held me back from coming towards you. I'm fighting my battles with low self-esteem. So yeah, he needs to work on these issues. You know, he needs to be in the best place before he comes forward. So just be patient with him. I'm saving up to buy something special. So... His way of showing love is maybe to give you a gift of some sort. I like to hold you, kiss you, ravage you in public, show the world you're mine. So he'd be proud to have you on his arm. He wants to show the world that you belong to him. Well, not that anyone belongs to anybody, but you know what I mean, that you are together. You are just so damn sexy. I like it, but I get worried because I know others like it too. And I want you all to myself. So yeah, he definitely does want, you know, you to just be for him, you know. That committed relationship. So let's see what else. Let's get some timings for this connection. I cannot shuffle these cards. <laughs> this one jumped out naked and waiting so I don't know if that's you or him <laughs> got April in a few months so obviously this is a general reading it could be you know 
a variety of different, you know, things playing out here for people. He's been checking your social media, that's for sure, and you've been checking his. He wants to take you out for dinner. So let's just get a final message. Got birth of a baby. <laughs> so this con connection could lead to that, to a, a child, you know, being conceived. If that's something that you don't want right now, obviously take precautions. Um, but, you know, this connection could move forward, okay? It may take a little bit of time. But he definitely wants to be in your life. He wants that relationship to be just the two of you. He doesn't want anyone else, you know, around. He wants to be the one that you love. But he's working on himself right now. So give himself the time. If you love him unconditionally, just give him that time. But don't put your life on hold. Get on with your life. Do what you want to do. And if that is having other connections, do that, okay? Just do what you feel guided to do. Don't wait around for anybody else okay let him do his work you do your your work and if it's meant to be you will get back together okay so there are your messages pile three thank you for watching so please like share subscribe comment and i will see you in my next video many blessings